And Jamie is um, local to the area. Um, he's a triathlete and he's training towards the Olympics. Um, I'm not going to say any more, but I'm delighted to welcome him here tonight to speak to you all. Welcome, Jamie. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, and first of all, congratulations on all your awards and hard work. Um, a great step and uh, yeah, really important um, to take what you're doing seriously. Um, but also have a bit of fun at the same time. Um, so as I said, good, e good evening everyone, um, and thank you for inviting me to speak with you this evening. Um, what I'm going to speak to you about this evening, I hope um, everybody here, whether you know, you're brothers, sisters, um, guys who are at the college, or uh, parents, I hope that this is something that you can keep in your minds and, um, and put into everything that you do, every action that you take in your lives. Um, living in the current 21st century, um, humans have now been around for uh, more than 200,000 years, so a long time. Um, and in that time, we have formed nearly 7,000 different languages, um, each one allowing us to accurately describe our emotions, thoughts, and um, get our understanding across. In the early stages of humanity, we discovered um, things as simple as such as fire, stone, wood, and natural resources just to keep ourselves alive. We taught ourselves every chemical, chemical equation, theory, and everything we know to this day. We learned how to record time, distance, and navigation. We've created light, energy, and transport. In fact, if you take a moment to stop daily and look at the achievements that we've actually produced as a human population, it's actually incredible. However, in all that time, we're still none the wiser to how we got here. For if humans made of minerals, then who made the minerals? If planets were created with rock, then who created the rock? If the stars and the galaxy are made up of gas and dust, then where did the gas and dust come from? The simple answer is, no one really knows. The only thing we really do know is that we're here, living as human beings and a part of one population. None of us were made any differently, every race, Ethnicity, religion, and gender was formed in exactly the same way. No matter how hard we've tried to cover it up, we were all made exactly equal. And that's what I've come here to speak to you about tonight. What is it, and how is it, that you can be different? What is it that you can add to the world that we're living in? How is it that you can make the most of the opportunities that you have been given as human beings living here in this country? But if we're all equal, then we're all equally responsible for the world that we're living in. As Muhammad Ali said, the service to others is the rent that you pay for your room here on earth. Now each one of you are here tonight because you have already proven an achievement. Hit heights in whatever it is that is important to you. If that's you guys receiving the awards, or parents watching your children receive the awards. But how is it that you can use your achievement for the world that we live in? What I want you to understand tonight is how you can make the world a better place. Improve the lives of others, make changes to every part of your life, remove yourself from the perception of the media, and those who don't choose to believe in the possibility of positive change. Now, contrary to what many think, Success is not something that only a few greats can achieve. It's not a godly attribute that many of us can't aspire to. In fact, it's in the reach of every single one of us. And tonight, I want to share with you what the blueprint of success. A simple few steps that incorporating into your life can make a huge difference to the way in which your life plays out. The first step is purpose. What is it that you really want from life? What is it that you want? Not your parents, not what your teachers have told you that you want, not even what today's media perceives that you should want. What is it that gets you truly fired up inside? That makes it hard to sleep at night whether it is to become a doctor, a beauty therapist, sportsman or woman, 
Hairdresser, biologist, chemist or artist. The role is not important. Do not spend your entire lives living a life that was somebody else's dream. As far as we know today, each one of us has one shot at this. One opportunity to make our lives as good as it can be. So do what it is that you want to become. This brings me on to my next point, ownership. As you grow older, you meet more and more people that you will hear the same things time and time again, blaming others for their misfortunes, their mistakes, and others' opportunities that they didn't take. Take ownership of your life right here, right now. Start making your own decisions in life. Do not conform to the patterns of this world. Be your own man or woman and take responsibility for the actions, mistakes and achievements that you make. Next, prepare to fail, but never fail to prepare. Success is a long, hard struggle. Nothing good comes easily, and if it does, hire your expectations. Many things will come to challenge you. Others will try to bring you down, try to bring you back down to normality, to make themselves feel better about them, their lives and their struggle. And through this, you will make mistakes. Everybody sucks at something. And there will always be someone better and bigger than you. But it doesn't have to stay this way. Stay prepared. Be confident that you are working the hardest. You are only getting, sorry, you are the only one getting up early to do research, work or train. You're the one concentrating when everyone else is flagging. And you are the one who is always willing to take risks when others wouldn't. Moving on from that, nothing will ever be hard, hard work. And that doesn't mean being the toughest, smartest or fittest, but it does mean, but it does mean being the most dedicated. Living every moment of your life to fulfill a purpose, to live out a dream. Do not allow yourselves to be limited to your own expectations. Keep pushing further and further. And finally, Always remember who you've done it for. Positive change in the world is the mission. Changing the perception of ideas into reality across every nation and allowing others the same opportunities that you got to which brought you here. This is a challenge and a challenge that is available to each and every one of us. It is completely dependent on ourselves and the most that we make out of the opportunities that we have. My name is Jamie Bedwell. I'm 19 years old and I'm pursuing a dream of competing in Olympic Games and triathlon. But more than that, I want to dedicate my life to building a platform of popularity where I can reach others and help them to unite in every generation, ethnicity, ethnicity and race, so that one day, our friends, family, and our children will live in a world of complete peace, freedom, and happiness. I hope that you can join me. Thank you.